and welcome back to Gay by Gay. <laughs> okay, we just took, I think it was like a 15 minute break yeah. here in between recording and I just, like, I have never, normally I love reading anything. Yeah. I feel energized after reading. I feel excited. I feel hyped. I'm mm-hmm. like into it. I don't know what it is about this, but I feel so drained. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it just like takes everything out of you. Like there are moments where it's funny, but I think it, I don't know. It just drains you. It's the, it's the figuring out what the sentences mean when they're badly written. It's having to reread the same thing yeah. three times to and, see if you're even reading it correctly. And try to comprehend how any of this could work in reality. Cause it can't. It just doesn't. Yeah. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. It so, just doesn't. Welcome back to our sixth episode of reading Amberlynn Reed's book, Hello, Darling. Someone please send help. Call an ambulance. Call the police. Like, someone please get me out of here. Honestly, I don't know what chapter we're on. Are we on six? I don't know because none of them are actually... Uh, no, um, numbered. Numbered. Yeah. I think this is seven. I think. Okay. This chapter is entitled... It's, Jun- an, it's an odd number. I know that for sure. Yeah. Juniper... June 1st, not June 1st, June, June 1, 1, 2017, 11.49 a.m. Because we just couldn't have a zero or a five nope. at the end of that. It had to specifically be 11.49 because we are special. Yep. Okay, let's go. After sitting here for almost an hour, I couldn't 100% focus on this. Yeah, get- me neither. I can't 100% focus yeah. on this either. <laughs> I couldn't 100% focus... You can't either. <laughs> I don't feel like that makes sense. We're gonna we're gonna go through it. I couldn't one hundred percent focus on this get to know your fellow passengers game. I thought the game was called something Unity. No matter how they phrase this, it has always come off very very badly. Um, instead of get to know your fellow passengers game, why didn't you just say icebreaker? Yeah. Is that not what they're literally, they're called icebreaking games, right? Yeah, Where you like familiarize yourself with other people. people. They're mm-hmm. icebreakers. Like she just literally could not even be asked to figure that out. No. All right. Here we go. Oh, and just so you know, uh, this entire next part is also just one long run on sentence. Okay. Let's do it. Because Rose's leg gently touched mine ever so often. Ever so often. Ever so often. Which made me feel warm and tingly. Then kissing her was seriously all I could think about, or wondering how soft her skin would feel underneath mine. That's some serial killer type. Yep, that's what Ted Bundy yep. said to himself every time he saw a woman. Stop! I thought... That's what, uh... I thought Ted Bundy did boys. Oh, yeah, he did. You're right. I, you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of Buffalo Bill oh. from the Silence of the Lamb movies. But I would just like to point out, okay, so all of that, from the very beginning of when we started reading until when we just stopped, that is one sentence. Yep. Everything from after sitting here for almost an hour, all the way down to how soft her skin would feel underneath mine, all of that was one sentence. That's so creepy. They've had like one creepy conversation and now she's and, uh, thinking Juniper about And Juniper snatched her hand and kissed her. Uh, after Rose just asked, is this seat, seat taken? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. I don't like this. Anyways. It was now the back row's turn to go in front of the crowd and follow the instructions of the game. When the game first started, the host passed around a big white container full of marbles. And we had to pick as many marbles as we wanted without knowing the reason for the picking. You could pick anywhere from one to whatever number suited you. I chose three, Rose chose two, and Memphis chose seven. What a bitch. (laughs) Memphis had come back from talking to that girl she thought was attractive. Turns out she was a lesbian single and her name was Tanner. I am meeting her at the club tonight, Memphis gleefully announced after choosing her seven marbles and passing the container to me. I don't know if I like this game. I feel like whatever number suited you, three... Okay. What if I just decided I wanted the entire container yeah, of marbles? Yeah, exactly. Like, I want 23. Anyway. Anyways. Like, that's the thing. Like, ugh, this is so unrealistic. <laughs> and set somewhere that's supposed to be realistic. Yep. And on top of that, 
every single thing, like every single interaction mm-hmm. has either been, oh, he, 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 we're so excited for all the lesbians, mm-hmm. yeah. or it's girls talking to each other and being like, oh my God, they're a lesbian. Yeah. That's been every single conversation. Even this last one. Turns out she's a lesbian single and her name was Tanner. Like every, oh my God, someone kill me. Here's the thing. There's there's always the jokes about how the lesbian specifically community is so small that there's no way that like so many the, people are openly out on this cruise ship. I was gonna say there is absolutely that joke where it's just like um, oh. as a lesbian you're absolutely gonna date one of your ex's yeah. exes yeah. because the community is so small that yeah. you just have to be grateful for yeah. finding someone else who's also a lesbian. Yeah. In this apparently every two thousand passengers and every one single one has a vagina. vagina. That just about sums it up. Like, I don't know what else to say other than that. Uh, okay, here we go. Now, now it has been about an hour since then, and it was our turn to go up and reveal ourselves. It is take Okay, it's taken an hour to get through this, ice, this single icebreaker game. Well, there's I can see. I them. can see why no one wanted to yeah. go to this thing. This yeah. is awful. After the marbles were chosen, turns out each marble that we chose was how many facts we had to say about ourselves in front of everyone else. Okay, and you five are? The host, Nancy, asks all five, all five of the back row stand in front of the crowd. What? No, okay, I, I see the trouble here. The trouble here is as, that as a- Amber well. has written, like, five as in, like, the number five and not as in the word five, which is, like, throwing off the spacing of the letters in the rest of the sentence below it. I, I don't know if that's Amber's fault or if that's just Wattpad. My brain hurts. Um, the host, Nancy, asks us all, no, asks us as all five of the back row stand in front of the crowd. The fives are what's throwing it off, at least to my eyes. That's weird. The I, phrasing's also not good, not gonna lie, but... I never really cared for the attention to be on me, but I felt a bit flustered from Rose standing so close to me. We all an- answered, Memphis. Memphis. <laughs> Memphis. 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 My name's Memphis. I'm I, in- I also just got my dentures lost. Shush. I can't talk anymore. You shush. My name's Memphis. Shush. Memphis. I'm Juniper. Rose. Noel, yes, like Christmas. Fuck you. Everyone laughed. What's That's, wrong with Noel? It's not a funny joke. <sighs> Everyone laughed. No, no one laughed. It's not a funny joke. I was not sure what was so funny, but I laughed too anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say? It's not, not funny. funny. And I'm Jordan. With a Y, because we oh all my know. Gosh. To quote one of my other favorite, um, sketch artists and um podcasters Mm -hmm. um just between us Mm -hmm. why is there like the double d tits of the alphabet (laughs) okay (laughs) no of course it's jordan with a y noelle and jordan were obvious twins they both looked barely 18 brown curly hair to their shoulders and they both wore matching outfits but in different colors i feel like twins stop doing that once they're like most twins i know absolutely hate it and it's just something that their parents did when they were younger um, on top of that, can we mention the fact that they both barely looked 18? Amber is 27 Seven when she is this. writing this. Can we... Um, that feels kind of inappropriate. Feels kind of rapey. Yeah. Don't like that. Feels kind of inappropriate. They're barely 18. Especially because all of the phrasing makes her seem like a sleazeball um, neckbeard. Oh, also... they're barely 18. Do I hear heavy breathing and the sound of a fedora uh... in, in the background there? I That's also, what I'm picking up I on. I also have kind of a beef with how when the writer, Amberlynn, or girl... Our, our girl, our girl is describing the group of women she always says girls yeah kind of juvenilely juvenilely and especially when you're talking so sexually yeah and graphic it's like it's absolutely kind of de-aging them in a way it makes me feel weird yeah it wiggles it gives me like um a nisian kind of vibes a little yeah. bit you know yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see here. They both wore matching outfits in different, different colors. colors. I hated when twins did that. They sat next to Rose last minute. They had not they had not really talked to us at all, but both of them chose two marbles. Okay, now each of you, let's get to know you. Now remember the rules. Your facts cannot be your name, age, birthday, or anything super common. You're not allowed to tell you just told them your name. Why would you tell them your name again? Yeah. Weird. 
But you know what? Even even this person, Nancy, apparently, yeah. even Nancy sounds like, remember when I said earlier, the announcer over the intercom sounded yeah. like he was addressing like a classroom for like children. kindergarten children? Yeah. Even this sounds like a kindergarten teacher addressing yeah. The little kids who yeah. are too stupid to know how games every, work. Every line, you have to say the rules again. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, now each of you, let's get to know you. Now remember the rules. Your facts cannot be your name, age, birthday, or anything super common. <laughs> Tell us something we wouldn't know just by looking at you. Oh, God. It, are you telling me that that's doesn't sound like. like a kindergarten teacher? Oh, that's gross. Ugh. Yep, don't like that. Nancy smiled, a middle-aged woman who already had more gray hair than she needed to have. That's rude. Yeah. And, and just... And wrinkles to show she had a sad life. <laughs> <laughs> but tried her hardest not to show it. I was literally shocked into silence for a second. Then. Yes, like, I, I love how... My mouth popped open and I just, like, stared at that. Kate... The way that these... What a bitch. The way that these staff members and organizers are addressed is, like horrendous it's so derogatory like like you got she has more gray hair than she needed to have and wrinkles to show she had a sad life but tried her hardest not to show it what does that look like i don't know when what does that look like is, why is it up what to does her? it look like when you have enough wrinkles to show that you've had a sad life but have also tried not to show it what, what is, does that look and like? what's up to her to make that judgment, judgment of another person wrinkles does not mean you're, you have a sad life Anyways. And how do you get wrinkles that show that you've had a sad life, but that you've also tried not to show show it? But don't the wrinkles show it? I don't know. I don't understand anything anymore. She gestured for us to start, and then there was this awkward moment of us looking around at each other, seeing who should go first. Uh, I think we should leave it on a cliffhanger to take a break, Abby. Why? Because you're just so invested? I'm so invested. Am I invested? I wish I wasn't. I wish I wasn't. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we'll let you guys uh, listen to the sponsorship segment, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we ready? Unfortunately, we're back. <laughs> Hello, guys. Keep keep the hope. You know. Maybe we'll, the hope is died. The hope yeah. died on part three, my dude. Yeah, maybe, maybe we are we are like double that length, and I'm dying. Okay. And I I've already briefly read into the next paragraph, yeah. and I would just like to uh, cut out my eyeballs. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on to what Noelle says about herself. No, so, I don't want to. Noelle kicked it into high gear. Two marvels. So my first fact is that I lost my virginity when I was 13 to some dude with one arm, who. Who I, in fact, thought I was going to marry one day. Fact two is after this trip, I'm becoming a nun. Was she joking? Can I... Who says... Okay, regardless of whether this is the truth or whether this character is supposed to be joking, Mm -hmm. who sits there and decides in a room full of a hundred strangers... You know what I'm going to tell them a story about how I lost my virginity when I was 13 to a guy with one arm and I thought I was going to marry him, but I didn't. Who... Regardless of whether or not you're joking, thinks this is a good idea. What well-adjusted person thinks this is good? It's because these cannot be, like, real people. Like, they're just so far removed from reality. And here's the thing. I'm kind of, like, unsettled by this 27-year-old woman writing about one of these girls who said, who she said herself, looks barely 18, yep. who is now going to talk about how she lost her virginity when it was 13. 13. With a guy with one arm. Yep. Very specific. That makes me feel a little bit weird. I feel uncomfortable again. All right. Let's move on. (laughs) I don't think I want to because I'm a little bit scared about what we're going to find. Jordan gently shook her head and she made no reaction. You know what I think is kind of weird? Sorry to interrupt our reading. You you interrupted your own reading here. That's true. So how they're like wearing the same like outfit in different colors, but their names are Noelle and Jordan. They don't have twin names. Yeah, you're right. You would think that... It, yeah. Ooh, you're right? Weird. You would think that... They, they would, would have, like, in. um names that start with, like, the same letter or yeah. something or sound the same, like, Abby and Gabby. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So they dress like stereotypical twins, but they, they're they not named like stereotypical no. twins. Anyways. Interesting. You're right. Jordan gently shook her head, and she made no reaction... 
that made it look like her sister was joking. And then she began hers. Two marbles as well. I work as a bartender in Hollywood, and I make about $400 a night in tip in just tips alone. Now you're just asking for yourself to get robbed, yeah, my dude. Yeah, and that's just, like, Oh, here, let me, let me flex about yeah. all my money. Please don't break into my cabin and yeah. take everything I own and kill me. I live alone with my poodle named Daphne. Even Dalph- <laughs> Delphine. Delphine? Yeah, because that's not Daphne. Because there's an L in there. D-A-L-P-H-I-N-E. Delphine. Is that a real name? I have never heard it before. Delphine? Maybe it's a real name, or maybe Amberlynn just pulled this out of her ass. Delphine. Who knows? Maybe, maybe it is a real name. I don't know. Even though these two girls were twins and liked to dress the same, you could tell that they were polar opposites from one another. Yes, because naturally, when you have opposing personalities, you naturally dress the exact same. Of because course. it's not like your personality. It's, it's not like your personality influences the way you act or the way you dress yeah. or anything. God, why? Memphis went next. She had seven facts, and I seriously could not wait to hear what she had to say, even though I knew everything about her anyway. Who's... Uh, I'd be sitting there, even if it was you, going, God damn, why'd you pick so many so, marbles? Yeah. <laughs> like, I would not be like, like sucks to be you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm so excited to hear everything you have to say. Yeah. Like, what are you going to tell them? Like, like what? I would... No, nope, I would not be excited. What no. are you going to tell them? That your dog died when you were seven? <laughs> things that we wouldn't know just your by looking divorced? at you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyways. Tell me all of your deepest, darkest secrets. I have seven marbles, so bear with me. I don't B-A-R-E want to. B-A-R-E. With me. Not bear like the animal. B-A-R-E. Yeah, and you're, you're very much correct. It should be the other kind of yeah. bear. So bear with me, <laughs> which sounds like she just wants everyone in the room to get naked with her. Oh, bear yeah. with me. Just take off all your clothes. Bear with me. Okay, so... This is my best friend in the best friend. This is my bestest friend in the whole entire world. Oh my god, kill me. Who says that when you're like 21? This is my bestest friend, friend in, in the, the whole, whole entire, entire world. world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she pulled me close and gave me a side hug and smiled. Hmm, let's see. She had all the time in the world to think of her facts, but she was making googly eyes with Tanner the whole time for an hour. They t- What? Remember, remember when they said it took them like an hour to get to them? So she was making googly la- Google googly eyes, <laughs> googly eyes, googly 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 eyes at Tanner for a uh, straight out. And it was so bad that she could not possibly think, think the entire time. <laughs> I guess so. All right. Okay. Totally believable. Uh, she was making googly eyes with Tanner the whole time when we were waiting for waiting our turn. Not for our turn, just waiting our, our turn. turn. I guess some people say that. No, they don't. Okay. Um, read that back. The whole time when we were waiting our turn. Yeah. No one says that. That's true. No one says that. I use, I use to play. Not used. I, I not use, I used to play. I, I use, use to. I used to play. I used to play volleyball in high school. Volleyball, not one word. Yeah, volleyball is in two words, which is. <laughs> I used to play volleyball in high school. I have never been in love before. That's a lie. She was in a relationship before, and I swore she was in love, but she was kind of a girl who never wanted to admit things like that. This is where we are similar. I am allergic to nuts of all kinds. Including men's nuts. Apparently. Several girls let out a laugh because the way medicine... (laughs) Medicine. I need medicine. Get me out of here. (laughs) Several girls let out a laugh because the way Memphis said that indicated a sexual innuendo. I met Britney Spears when I was 14, and honestly, it was the most awkward experience of my life because I wanted a photo with her, but she acted like she wanted to be anywhere but there. Okay, how many is that now? She asked the crowd and laughed. What a... Okay, so she's just writing her as, like, this blonde bimbo. Uh, this airheaded yeah. blonde bimbo. So she overshares on this. She, uh... She doesn't... Can't keep straight how many facts mm-hmm. she said... Um, and she's just like, uh, how many is that now? Yeah. Ugh. Ah. Five, a few girls called out. Oh boy. Hmm. One of the things on my bucket list is to go to Bora Bora. Which is like- actually on Amber Lynn's bucket list. So once again, you can see where the yeah. self insert comes in because one of Amber Lynn's dreams is to go to Bora Bora. And last but not least, I'm a pillow princess. Who says that to a room full of people? Because this is an icebreaker game. Yeah. There could be MILFs in here who don't... That's so uncomfortable. Like, I don't want to know about your sex life. 
if it, this just is an icebreaker even, even then even if you consider that okay there could be this is not a lesbian cruise this mm-hmm. is just for women there could be older women who are not interested in that sort of thing and you have now announced this to a room mm-hmm. even if you were to imagine that this is a lesbian cruise it is still extremely uncomfortable to announce this thing to a room full of people yeah no matter how uh, you look at this, this is not okay. This is never okay. Uh, don't do this out there, our listeners. I don't care if you're male or female. Do not. Don't do Don't it. just randomly spout out your sexual preferences, please. That's uncomfortable for both you and for everyone else in the room. I let out a huge laugh and then Memphis winked at Tanner. A few girls let out a laugh as well. A pillow prin- oh, We're going to explain this now. Oh, a thanks, pillow Amber. princess is a lesbian who prefers to be on bottom. On the receiving end, and that was definitely Memphis. But I was the opposite. I don't need no to one know. Can, no one. No. In the in the words of good old Eric Cook, no one cares. It's true. Wow. Okay, Memphis. That was enlightening. Nancy seemed to be bothered, but didn't want to show it. I'd be bothered. I'd too. be bothered too. Like, what? I decided to go next because Rose didn't seem like going yet. Didn't seem. Didn't seem like going, going yet. That's not right. No. <laughs> That's not right. I have three, so let's cut this to the point. One, I am left-handed. So is Amberlynn. Although I do use my right hand for certain things. So does Amberlynn. Really? Yep. Two, I was born with a heart murmur. Three, I love the ladies. I, oh, for God's uh, sakes. I grinned and made sure Rose saw, as, she, as if she doesn't know. You grabbed her you hand and her kissed hand. it. Oh my god. Jesus. I was not sure if Rose liked girls or not. Then why did you kiss her hand? Yeah. Seems a little premature. <laughs> but I definitely wanted her to know. Trust me, she already knows and she is also very creeped out. Rose smiled and began her two facts. I'm also a lady lover. For God's sakes! We're just sharing all this. You know, this was to get to know you, so the only definable character trait that half of these people have is I'm a lesbian. Oh. Have you ever been such a bland person before that your sexuality is the only interesting thing about you? No, but here's the thing. Even if it was, they... Most lesbians I know are not like this. No. Not, not at, at all. all. Not at all. Ugh. <sighs> I know. We're almost Ro- there. Rose smiled and began her two facts. I'm also a lady lover. Oh. And I break hearts. She grinned back, although it seemed like she was just joking, but I was not entirely sure. She was a girl like me, someone who played hard to get, but also a girl who was a tease and willing to show it. And then it just stops there. It just stops. Abrupt. That's it. That's it. And for me, that's it. That's it. I'm done. I can't take any more today because I already feel like I'm dying and (laughs) I don't want to do this anymore. I have never been so disgusted. Um, Just, I don't even know where to start decompressing this, so I'll just keep it really kind of brief. The writing is terrible. Yep. Uh, the phrasing is terrible. Yep. The grammar is terrible. Yep. A lot of things are using the wrong words or they're misspelled. Um, the, the, the content is god awful. It's not even, it, it is awful and it's uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable. Um, it's completely unpleasant. unrealistic. Very unpleasant. unpleasant. It's like, it's like you're forced to watch like a fight. This is what parents. I think neck beards imagine lesbians to be like. Yeah. It's almost like a like a completely unaware man wrote this yeah. and was like, oh, this is what lesbians are like. Yeah. Like it doesn't sound like it came from another a woman. A community member. A community member who, you know, like is also a lesbian. Yeah. Like it sounds like she has no idea it's how so, women work. It's so derogatory. Completely. And I mean, can we just get on to the fact that she is phrased females not women not even females. girls which is already a little uncomfortable yeah. but females yes. oh i could see the estrogen around me what? Two thousand passengers and each, each one, one had a vagina, vagina and the thought excited me need i say more like i oh okay, my okay Lord. listen listen being a lesbian in my humble opinion being a lesbian is not about liking vaginas it's about liking women and there's a huge difference. There is a huge difference because women are just not walking vaginas. Again, th- this is why I keep saying, like, it sounds like a man who was writing the script for his own lesbian porn. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, hoo, 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 and then they scissor. Like, that's what I'm expecting <laughs> here. That's just what I'm expecting here. Hoo, 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 and then they scissor. <laughs> like, it, it, it's like a man playing with Barbies and, like, being like, and then they do this. Like, that's what it sounds like. It does not sound like a proper person is no, even writing this. No. It sounds like someone who has never met another woman in their life 
And it's just like, oh, is this what lesbians do? It's It, it feels like the standpoint, uh, especially like the way Juniper is written, is women are created for me to look at and to want to have sex. And every, with. every woman wants me and I'm yeah. so smooth, but yeah. I'm not cocky, but I'm so smooth and I'm, I'm going to so say smooth. I'm going to say that to yeah. myself like four times in a row and I don't even know if the girl next to me is a lesbian, but I'm going to grab her, her and flirt with her and like kiss her hand and then I'm going to make it very clear that I'm a lesbian. Like who does that? Who talks like that? Who acts like you that? You know, you know it's even funny because even, like, the bare minimum when you start looking up, like, lesbian content, like, lesbian jokes is, like, oh, when I see a pretty girl next to me and it's just silently looking and looking back because you're too shy to say anything. It's literally, like, gay panic. Yeah. Like, it that, is. that's something that's in the community. It, it Like, these people are so forward that, again, it feels like they're treating being gay as more of a personality trait than a sexual yeah. orientation. I have never known any icebreaker where I have ever gone into it and been like, oh, I need to tell Talking a fact about, about myself. Let, let me tell everyone I'm an asexual. Yeah. No, that's not how people work. I mean, I mean, this is also in an, in an ideal world. Like, not a lot of people, I, at least a lot of people I know, are willing to out themselves when you don't know how safe you are in a community of strangers. Exactly. Especially when you're locked on a boat for a month. And you're not if allowed you have, to get off the ship, apparently. If you have... Which has a whole bunch of legal ramifications, but we're not going to go over there. It takes just one violent homophobe that you accidentally or intentionally out yourself to to get stabbed. Yeah, and realistically, you're telling me that this is a women's only cruise and that's fine, but we've established that it's not just women between a certain age. Yeah. How do you know that this poor, like, temple-loving woman yeah. isn't on board and she's yeah. just like, oh no, men and women need to be kept separate because yeah. of the grace of God. How yeah. do you know that she's not going to go completely, like, Rambo on Listen. you and try to, like, goddamn assassinate there, there you? There is so many HR complaints right now. Yep. Because, like, not only that, but, 100%. like, um, some people, especially in the older generation, tend to look down on, like, homosexuality in general. Imagine being They tend there. to look down on homosexuality, yeah. and they also tend to look down on overt sexuality. Yeah. Even between men and women, they're yeah. like, oh, no, 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 that's yeah. inappropriate. So if you're sharing stuff like that, people are going to complain about you because they don't want to know I'd be your complaining. sex life. Like, I don't... I'd be you, extremely uncomfortable you, in that room. I'd be you, like, ew. If you want to tell me you're a lesbian, sure, but don't say I'm a lady lover. I mean, hell, even when it comes to me, um, I can get a little flustered when people ask me just because there's always that quick, like, millisecond debate of... of do like should I be honest about this it's, it's not safe. it's not a real it's like it's not really any of their business yeah. I don't know if I want to say this yeah and you you judge your comfort level yeah you're telling me that so many people are comfortable with just basically screaming I'm a lesbian from the rooftops yeah, apparently. like no uh, so that is it for this episode yes. thank you very much for uh listening to us rant and read here mm -hmm. um Honestly, it's been two weeks worth of this content. Yeah. Aaliyah and I have every intention of finishing this yep. off in one big major super, bonus episode. Super episode. So stay tuned for that yeah. as we finish off uh, Hello Darling, Darling very uh, soon. Thank you so much for listening yeah. and we'll talk at you later. Yep. Say gay by gay, guys. Bye.